riding another man's saddle. Craftsman 9E Lawnmower. William Hovey Smith, 2021. This is Hovey Smith, the backyard sportsman. And it looks like I'm operating a lawnmower repair shop. Not so. Yeah, I'm just an older guy with older lawnmowers trying to keep them running. We did some repair work on the snapper a few weeks ago and had it running. And the same on the Husqvarna back there and had it running. But neither of them want to run this week. Hmm. More to do. Well, in the meantime, I got grass to cut. As it turns out, I lost my brother-in-law, who lives next door, uh, some weeks back. And he likewise had two lawnmowers. So, we're going to ride another man's saddle. I've got the older of his two mowers, a Craftsman with a Briggs and Stratton engine in it, as it turns out. And we're going to clean that one up, put fuel in it, oil in it, check it out, and cut some grass today with it. So let's go take a closer look at the mower. As this was his second best mower, uh, he didn't run it as often in recent months uh, as before. Uh, one problem with it is the deck is just about rusted out. He's repaired it and welded it up a couple of times. It's got a hole in it now that you can see. But that doesn't bother me so much as long as the thing will run and cut. So we're going to clean it up, put fuel in it, check the oil, and so on and so on and so on. And cut, oh, I've got about three acres of grass now uh, to work with it. And we'll see how it does. This Craftsman has all of the operating features typical of a riding lawnmower. By the time this thing was built, uh, yeah, these were fairly well stabilized. It's got nice wide tires. Uh, the gas tank here is actually underneath the seat. Uh, some guys put their batteries underneath the seat, but they put their gas tank under there. And the engine is in the front. Now they have some rather fine controls on the height and of the mower deck, which I don't quite understand yet. But good features of this mower is that they do give you a plate telling you the kinds and names of components used therein that are apt to wear out. Things like blades and spark plugs and so on and so on and so on, so you don't have to figure that out. One nice thing about this particular mower and its engine design is that the spark plugs are easily visible, extractable, and accessible. Something not necessarily so on Kohler engines, for example. And the air filter is in front of the engine. Uh, a little bit unusual. Very often they have them on the side. But okay, these are on the front. The battery compartment, you can see, is also very accessible. So the accessibility of the components is really very good on this design. I think they knew what was going on when they built this one. I've just put gas in it and attempting to clean up the top of the gas tank a little bit. It has an unknown capacity right now, but from what it took, it looks like it holds several gallons, uh, two or three, I would guess. And what this dark material is, I'm wiping off the top, I'm not sure. Uh, but it seems to be a little stuck on there. But whatever, it's coming off. This gauge has just a simple float in it, which is good. It doesn't depend on anything electronic to tell you how much gas you got. So uh, that, I think, is a good feature, even though an older uh, pattern of measuring gas in tanks, uh, but still very, very effective. I've taken my vacuum cleaner and blown off the excess water around the engine. So I want to start it up and run it in place for a little bit 
just to make sure I don't see any obvious oil and gas leaks. But we checked the oil and, well, Charles was very good about maintaining his vehicles and his equipment, so the oil was fresh looking and jam up to the full mark and no more. So uh, that was good. We put fresh gas in it. So uh, now is the time to give it the smoke test. I'm an author, uh, mainly of outdoor books, but I also have some business titles. The newest of which is Make Your Own Job, Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. And this book is available from Amazon.com as a softcover e-book and also as an audio book. I have another audio book available from Lantern Audio, and this is my novel, Until Death Do You Part, An American Family Meets Their Sicilian Cousins. After taking a couple of turns around the yard, uh, this steering wheel is annoyingly loose. On some mowers, you take the central plate off and there's a nut and bolt that you fasten. And let's see if that is the case here. I think so. Yes. All right. The major problem is actually play in this shaft itself. Although this fitting is loose itself, and that I can fix, but that's not solving the major problem. So we've identified a problem in its source, but not solved it. One quick correction would be to put a piece of rubber compressible material here, which would bind against the other parts. Well, how did the old lawnmower do? Well, Charles's lawnmower did very well. Uh, it has enough gasoline capacity to cut approximately four acres between refills. So that's good. We tested that. After two and a half hours cutting, there are no visible leaks anywhere. And the engine runs stoutly. Uh, I have some hills on my lawn and it was able to climb those and cut those without difficulty. Uh, the steering is still loose, for reasons I have yet to identify. For worn out blades, it cut pretty well, uh, actually. Uh, there are a few ridges uh, left because of the irregularities of the blades the way they are right now. Yeah, they need changing. But the setup for changing the blades is pretty much standard with any other decked lawnmower like this. Uh, you pull four pins and that drops the deck and you push the deck back and disconnect the dry belts and the dry belts look okay. And uh, yeah, with replacing the blades, uh, this thing should cut very well indeed. Yeah, the deck is about gone, but uh, it really doesn't hurt the cutting any. So, yeah, did good. 
So I think we bonded a little bit. So yes, uh, this mower is worth keeping running and putting some new blades on it. Certainly that much. But now, this is Hovius Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Running older lawnmowers is something of a pain, but it is somewhat interesting to keep them running and going. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 800 videos, go to www.hoviesmith.com. To find out more about my business books, go to MakeYourOwnJobSecurity.com. To discover how my novel, screenplay, and movie project is coming along, go to FatherOfTheGrooms.net. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.